Now, my cousin Hamlet and my son. A little more than kin, but less than kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Not so, my lord. I am too much of the sun. Good Hamlet, cast thy nighted colour off, and let thine eye look like a friend on Denmark. Do not forever with thy veiled lids seek for thy noble father in the dust. Thou knowest is common, all that lives must die. And passing through nature to eternity. Aye, madam, it is common. But well, if it be, why seems it so particular with thee? Seems, madam. Nay, it is. I know not seems. Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of forced breath, no, nor the fruitful river in the eye, nor the dejected haviour of the visage, together with all forms, moods, shapes of grief that can denote me truly. These indeed seem, for they are actions that a man might play. But I have that within, which passes show. These, but the trappings and the suits of woe. It is sweet and commendable in your nature, Hamlet, to give these morning duties to your father, but you must know, your father lost a father. That father lost, lost his. And a survivor bound in filial obligation for some term to do obsequious sorrow, but to persevere in obstinate condolement is a course of impious stubbornness. A fault against the dead, a fault to nature, to reason most absurd, whose common theme is death or fathers, and who still hath cried from the first course, till he that died today, this must be. So, <laughs> we pray you, throw to earth this unprevailing woe, and think of us as of a father. For your intent in going back to school in Wittenberg, it is most retrograde to our desire. And we beseech you, bend you, to remain here. In the cheer and comfort of our eye, our chiefest courtier, cousin, and our son. Let not thy mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. I pray thee, stay with us. Go not to Wittenberg. I shall, in all my best, obey you, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it is a loving and a fair reply. Be as ourself in Denmark.